It's really hilarious how the simplest mods can make you the happiest. Marcus has officially blacked out the SS. Now tuned into the greatest. Turn the music up in the headphones. Lord, oh, that looks crisp and butter. Butter. What is up, YouTube? Mark Kicks in my garage. I totally forgot what Ty was saying in that video, but I know it was terrible. Yeah, we coming at you with a new video. Um, I really just wanted to make a video because I've got a lot of people that kind of asked me about the process that wanted me to talk through what I kind of went through when evaluating what I was gonna do and how to do it. And I also wanted to add put leased car in the title as well because a lot of people don't know you can sell a leased car in certain circumstances. Let me just put it that way, but I will address that later in the video. But first, how I sold my car online and what I think the easiest route for me to go was. Okay, for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Mark Hicks, Marcus, but as you can see, <laughs> Mark Hicks, I don't know. So the car that I sold, if you've never seen any of these car videos, the 2018 Range Rover Velar. Um, it was a car, I was in the market for a Range Rover and the car was just announced and two days after it was announced I went and placed my order about four months later I then took delivery to the car and I kept the car for 18 months um, after 18 months I looked up kind of prices and what I thought the car would go for and stuff like that and what I was seeing which is not the case for most people and not the case for most people that buy Range Rovers I was seeing the market for Velars was pretty good and where where I'm at in the Midwest there was like one other used Velar on the market so going through the process I thought that I could maybe if I sold it myself I thought after after the hassle and all that I could probably get about four thousand more than I got from the dealer that I end up selling it to but when I take into consideration, I did not want to keep the car. I did not want to be in one of those things where I'm hassling. I got to talk to the guy who's buying it. He doesn't get approved. I got to go back and restart everything. I got to sit on the car possibly for two to three months. I was like, I just want this gone. Like I want it out of my hair. I want the easiest possible solution. So like all the people like all the youtubers i didn't necessarily do mine just for a youtube video because most people when they say they're going to carmax and to get an appraised they're literally just going there to make a youtube video they are not going to sell carmax a car even if carmax came back with the price they paid for the car brand new i went and bought a freaking 570s for two hundred twenty thousand dollars car max offers two hundred twenty five twenty thousand dollars they're not selling the car they just made the youtube video just to see what car max would offer and if you've seen most of the videos car max usually comes in pretty pretty damn low and in my case car max did the same thing um it's just it's a low offer but obviously we all know carmax is a nationwide brand they're obviously gonna try to make a make a profit make make more profit than they probably like i don't know pro should in some cases they might give you a realistic good offer but in most cases they're gonna they're gonna you know they're gonna lowball you <laughs> and some people they're fine with it don't really care and just sell them the cars obviously carmax has some really nice cars in their inventory if you just look online and nationwide they got some nice cars so some people just don't care in my case true car was the place that ended up being the best offer uh true car i just kind of typed in all the information about the car and what it does 
it sends you a true car offer. My true car offer was ended up being $51,000. I thought if I sold it privately myself, I could get maybe 54, 55. The other one in the Midwest was around 58, but it had better options than mine did. So, weighing all that, I probably could have got 54 and then after the hassle and then you know, I just wasn't dealing with it. So, true car offer was 51, which I was I was very happy with um, not upside down on a loan at all. They had, they cut me a check and I deposited it and bought some shoes immediately. But, but no, yeah. So I, I was happy with the offer, 51. And what they do is they send you, okay, we have four true car dealers by you and you can take the car to them and they will either, they have a couple options. They will either say, yeah, we'll take the true car offer and pay you the 51 straight up and you're gone. They'll write you a check for 51, handle everything and you're out of there in like 40 minutes, which is what my dealer ended up doing. Or they can say, yeah, true car offer was cool, but we want to make more profit off of your car. So we're going to lowball the true car offer <laughs> so true car is not if they say oh i got a true car offer of 51 they can then come the dealer true car dealer can then come and say i'll buy it for 49 that's what two of the true car dealers did to me so i went there i thought i was getting 51 i had no clue how it worked i looked up all the all the reviews and everything nobody really told me that it wasn't a firm like thing but so I went there thinking I was getting 51. A couple dealers said, okay, we'll give you 48. Okay, we'll give you 47. Okay, we'll give you 49. So it was just fluctuating. And I was getting frustrated. I was like, I really may sell this privately. And then I saw another two car dealer pop up. And then I took it to them and they said, we'll give you the full true car offer, write you a check and you're out of here. So true car, in my opinion, was the best it was the best possible offer. They kind of, they go by uh, car selling by you, your options, all that type of stuff. And they weigh it and give you a good offer. I like it. I'm a fan. <laughs> so yeah, true car worked the best for me. I think it gives, it gives way better offers than CarMax, but yeah, so true car. I looked around and when you are going to sell a leased car, it works a couple different ways. Some dealerships won't let you in your contract. It says you cannot sell it. You cannot trade it, all that, all that fun stuff. But some dealerships, they obviously don't care. You can buy it out from the bank that you're leasing it with. You can, there's multiple ways to do it. The most common probably is to get your purchase price. So if I lease a $60,000 car and they say after a couple months, my purchase price is 50,000, um, then a lot of people would go to their bank and then take out a car loan of $50,000, buy it out, and then you could sell it, whatever it's worth, whatever, whatever. Or um, CarMax also has, well, CarMax and True Car. You can go to them and just it's like you're selling your finance card they look it up they say okay we'll give you you say that your purchase price is fifty thousand. they say okay we'll give you 54 then they give you four thousand pay the purchase price and then you're out of the lease but yeah a lot of people don't understand that you can sometimes be able to sell your lease car sometimes it won't make sense because your purchase price is 40 grand and the car and people will only give you 32,000. So obviously you'll lose money and you'll have to pay in. So that wouldn't be smart and it would just be better to stay in the lease. But in certain circumstances, you're able to sell it and sell it just like it's a finance car. I don't know if a lot of people know that, um, but if you didn't, now you do. But yes, I wanted to make this video. I sold it on True Car. I think True Car is pretty easy. Um, get better prices than like a CarMax normally would. And um, yeah, for people that don't wanna go through the hassle of selling it privately. Selling stuff privately is absolutely terrible. Um, I 
my first my first business was selling shoes and selling shoes is terrible so i can't even imagine trying to sell a sixty thousand dollar car that would be torture and what the hell are they doing what are they doing y'all they're digging up i don't even know i don't even know stranger things out here so stay tuned we got for those of you that want to see Camaro content, we got a lot of that coming. Um, right now, I'm on my way to Audi to look at a car for the family. and yeah i don't know a lot of a lot of car tent on the way i guess